For a few minutes, let me talk to you about the window. Now, you may be wondering, the window? A window? Why are you talking about a window? Part of my story that I often don't talk about is growing up and even through adulthood, I, I chose to position myself. The guards in my bedroom, the side of the bed I slept on was near a window. And my, hey Deidre, Demetrius, positioned myself beside a window. I'm going live early because I'm usually, you know, I get here from my regular job today and the weather's bad outside. But anywho, I go live on Instagram because that reasons I have to get up and go out. And I'm not sharing that. I'm very transparent. But the window, I position myself by a window. A window facing east. So it's where the sun rises in the morning. Through my married life, I... position myself by a window when I would get home from work. I was married, I will come in, I will do what we do, have a family and try to be near a window or facing a window. In my deepest moments of thought, I will find myself standing by a window. I realized in my 30s and perhaps 40s that the reason I positioned myself by a window because as a kid, growing up, my bedroom, my bed was positioned by a window facing east, behind a locked door often, when craziness was happening on the side of that door. So I would position myself beside a window. I've been doing it automatically all my life. As if I'm looking for some savior to come, some Batman to arrive and to pull me out of whatever I was going through. Window facing east looking for hope. But when the sun rises, it's a symbol of a new day. It's a symbol of hope. No matter what we're going through, a new day, a new hope, the sun rises in the east continually. Mm-hmm. Where's the way it has been designed, I believe, to do so. So I find the window. And I subconsciously, throughout my life, I position myself beside a window. All too often we, in our most difficult moments, position ourselves beside a symbolic window, if not a literal one. When those closest to us may abandon us, but they were not close at all. When we go through the loss of a family member, when we go through the loss of our best friend, when we, as we live in this current political climate, in this country, during COVID-19, many of us are looking for some type of hope, or some type of symbolic window, someone we look outward. Even in the Bible story of Jesus, they traveled from the east, the place of the sun rising. It's great to look for someone to come. It's okay. It's okay to be Vulnerable. It's okay to say, I'm looking outward. But here's the thing. As we focus outward, let's also focus inward. Inward. To that window of our own heart. There's a text that says, out of the heart's abundance, the mouth speaks. So if we speak out good things in our difficult moments, Appreciate the small things in our challenging moments. And we are creating a window of hope, a window of opportunity from within ourselves. We become, in a sense, a self-savior. Yeah. I, I, I chose to put on this t-shirt this morning for this live stream, the failure steps to success. Because things may be failing, falling apart around us. Sometimes we may be in our greatest moment. So you look at that window. 
and reflect your thought over the failures that brought you to where you're at, the steps. The window. Are you standing beside a window? Are you looking for someone to come? Are you creating your own window inside your own heart? Are you looking inward as well as outward? In the process of looking inward and outward, also it's just that you look up. Look up. Look around. Windows. Not just every window, but look around. Here, to the right, to the left. Let me find your window over here. Let me find your window over there. on the side of that window is hope. It's a new day. Each and every day we perceive a window as hope, a new day. You perceive a window as you look at outward, they allow you to also look inward. So wow, it's nice outside. The sun had rose again from the east. It's a new day. an opportunity. This text that says weep with those who weep, mourn with those who mourn. But also stand with those who stand. Walk with those who walk forward. Walk with those who look out of the window and see the sun rising. Look out of the window maybe looking for someone to come. But when that sun rises, let it be that fire, that light inside of you. And say, you know what, this is a new day for me. Because as a child, I looked. As an adult, when things seemed to be going great, I looked. There's a part of me that always was looking out a window. Even now, as I record this, the window's facing east on the other side of this camera. Around this holiday season, some of the Christian faith tell, remember the story, I pay homage to the story of the wise men who traveled to the Christ child. They traveled to hope. Then outside of that window, that sun rising is hope. Your journey toward a new day should be one filled with hope for you moving forward. As you move forward. As I move forward. That savior we often seek beyond the spiritual. That favor we seek in the physical often is ourselves. The same God that made that sun to rise in the east on the other side of the window to inspire us. It's given us the intellect, the mentality to, to grasp thoughts, ideas, words, to to reflect, to meditate, to exercise, to feed ourselves to grow is that thing behind me says faith can move a mountain that hope in that which is not seen can move mountains but the change must begin with you as you position yourself by a window reminding you that no savior will will come in the context, and I'm going to go to context to break it down. In the context, no one may, will, is coming to save you completely. But someone will come and hang with you and network with you. And whether it's through prayer, even right, with a spiritual being, he comes. Whether this was a friend, that friend comes. Whether it's this, or some stranger on the street that you smile at, or maybe in the grocery line you engage in conversation with, that hope will come, that Savior comes in many, many forms. What I mean by Savior is this, and I'm going to break it down as I write this down. That one who's able to uplift you, encourage you, inspire you. But remember this also as you look to that one. You meet that one and you engage with that one. Also remember you have to look inside yourself. Because once you start looking inside yourself, you're able to find that thing to give out to someone else. Because it's a cycle 
I'm leaving you with this. It's a cycle. The sun rises and sets every day from the east to the west. This, that same window that allows the sun. Did you see the sun rising from? That same easterly direction you're looking in. That place you're looking outwardly toward at the end of it. It comes for a cycle. So will you be that cooling sunset? Will you be that end of the day person? Will you be that in game person for someone with your words of hope, your words of encouragement, your smile even? Will you perhaps be that symbolic savior for someone? Will you? Not just be looking outward, but also looking inward and becoming that which you are looking for. If you don't follow my podcast, please do so. Click the link in my bio. You can even buy this shirt from my t-shirt store. It's all in my bio. Connect with Fat Girl Freestyle here on Instagram. Her words are powerful. Her words deep. She's my business partner. I'm no longer doing this by myself. She has her own stories that she's put out there. Time for her is encouraged by her words inspiration. For she is peeping, peering through her own window. The window, y'all. The window. Pointing to that which will or will not come. At the end of the day, it's already there. To you within yourself. Be encouraged. Be inspired. Peer through your window. For the sun does rise. Have a great day.